Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to do the whisper setup for radio comms in between two channels in TeamSpeak for Nightline. So what you want to want to do is you want to want to go up to Tools, uh, go all the way down to Options. Once you click click Options, you'll get this uh, thing. Uh, you want to click down on Whisper and go uh, make sure all of these are checked as I have them. So I've got Always Show Whisper History, Play Notification Sound, Use of Individual Settings, uh, Else Allow. Okay, and then you go down to Whisper Hit Lists. It will open up another uh, box over here. Uh, and you'll get these. Uh, so then, what you want to do, you want to also make sure that you're connected to the TeamSpeak that you want to do this on. So the Nightline TeamSpeak. All right. And uh, you want to, you want to, uh, you want to press New. Okay. Get your hotkey. I'm gonna do uh, num numpad minus. Okay. Click OK. Make sure it's on default. Just press OK. So then it'll pop up here with numcat with numpad. Okay. Then you pop down here, uh, and make sure. Oh, uh, another thing. Make sure that it's on your numpad. Uh, numpad. If you're doing your push to talk stuff on your mouse, it won't work. So it's got to be on the keyboard. You come to this area, uh, and uh, with this uh, tiny box, and go ahead and click on channels, and then you'll open up this whole thing. And you don't want to search through the whole thing, so you just go over here, type in TAC. Okay. Scroll. Make sure you get the one. The, the one with RTO, okay? Click on that one, and uh, when you double click on it, it'll just slide over in the middle box, okay? Then you want to go uh, hospital or HOS, it'll search for hospital comms. Don't do the night shift one, do this one. Double click, it'll move in, okay? Make sure this is on clients and channels, and press apply, okay? So you've got that. Now you need a local whisper, so you go down here, click on that same hotkey, just press OK, press OK again. And then do the same thing. Move these over and move tag channel over. Okay? Pretty self explanatory. Make sure that there are uh, these two channels. If they aren't, they won't work. Then you press apply. Okay? Okay? And there you go. So now I'm in, uh, I'm in the hospital comms. Let's say I'm a, I'm a Echo 41 and I'm going to go ahead and ca contact Charlie 20. Okay? So I'd press my hotkey, hold it down, and say what I want to say. Echo 41 to Charlie 20. Uh, this is a test. And then he would respond. Uh, this is Charlie 20 to Echo 41. We have an active bank robbery uh, requesting all available units to attach. 10 4 in route. And that. Just make sure you guys are attaching code too. Thank you. 10 4. And so that's just it. That's all it is. So once you've got that down, you've got the whisper down. Make sure you remember that hotkey and use it as much as possible uh, when when going between the two channels